Hey guys, what's up? It's Noelle. Welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is just going to be a grad school day in the life vlog. I'm an online grad student in healthcare informatics. That will be my degree. I will graduate in December of 2022. So a third done almost. Um, I have two weeks left of my summer classes and then I get a little break. So super excited about that. But I thought I would just bring you guys along for some homework fun. Um, and then at the end of the video, try to explain what healthcare informatics is, kind of the classes I'm taking, what it's like to be an online student and work at the same time. And then also kind of like my transition from like why I chose to basically go back to school. So that's kind of the video for today. And also if you're keeping up, as you can tell, I finally got my glasses. Um, however, the blue light in these glasses seem to be a little stronger, hence the like the blue color tint on the glasses. Um, so we're gonna have to get used to that, but better for the eyes. So I don't really know what to say. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of homework to do today. Usually on my off days, I just try to grind out some homework, get it done so I don't have to worry about it because I work night shift. It's harder for me to do homework after work. Um, and yeah, just the way my assignments are due, I like to just get everything done as soon as I can. We got a lot of stuff to do today, so let's get working. <laughs> So I'm taking a laundry break. Something you should know about me when I study is that I take a lot of breaks for me. I have to basically like sit down and read something for like 20 minutes, quickly go on my phone, do something for like five minutes and then study again. Oh, no. Hello? Okay, Alexa, Alexa, stop the timer. Okay, for some reason Alexa thought I was, oh, cause I said 20 minutes, whatever. Okay, anyway. Um, I take a lot of breaks, but also I just did laundry because I'm trying to just get a lot done today So we are just going to hang up our laundry that I do not dry because Honestly, if you don't do that for some of your clothes, they have a long they don't last as long um, I usually only wash and don't dry like my work clothes and then also All of my workout clothes or like nice clothes like dresses and stuff that I don't want to shrink or to get ruined Snack time! Toquito! No! no. Hurry up, dude. Let's have a look at it. No, a taquito, a taquito, a taquito. It's a little long. Mm -hmm. Clean the floor. All right, so I'm pretty much done with one assignment. Usually what I try to do is set goals for the day or like time frame of the day. So um, today I wanted to get at least one out of my two assignments done. If I get two done, that's great. If not, I met my goal. I usually do like a rough draft, take some time to like refresh my brain and then I'll come back, read it over, make sure there's no typos and then submit it to Blackboard. So I am done with my draft. I am going to Take a break we might go play basketball um i did my citation apa it will be your best friend when you're in school um and then later tonight i'll come back reread it and then submit it and probably work on my other assignment for my other assignment i've already laid out kind of like an outline put some bullet points of um things that i'll probably like type out into a paragraph but that's kind of how i do homework um just some tips things i've learned through high school and college that I'm using in grad school. So I will see you guys later. All right guys, so it's day two. We are picking up kind of where we left off. It's been, <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> my computer screen just had like a, like a gray, like you know when the TV just goes out? That was very weird. Anyway, day two of homework. Time for a new laptop. No, day two of homework. Um, I submitted my assignment last night. I'm just gonna work on the assignment that I started yesterday. And then I want to get that submitted today. So that's my goal for the day. And then after these two assignments, all I have to do is reply to um, other students' discussion posts. And then I have one more assignment, which I think is gonna be the longest, biggest assignment of the week. I've been having myself a productive morning, but like a slow morning, just not in the mood to do homework. But 
gotta get done and i will be thanking myself later in the week for doing it now so yeah this is kind of what we're working with right now let me show you kind of like outline not in paragraph format i have to just write two paragraphs so i'm just going to take all this information and just type it into paragraphs i have my to-do list right here haven't checked anything off but go ahead and check off my discussion post that i did check check get this done and yeah once i get this done i will just sit down and chat with you guys so let's get homework done basically just finished my assignment i'm going to take a break as i mentioned yesterday i usually finish the first draft take a break and then i'll come back and look at it make sure i didn't make any typos read through it um and then add my citations apa like i said is going to be your best friend if you go back to school i just wanted to mention quickly some tools that i use for school so my school actually did give me an ipad which has been helpful for reading articles but i use chegg the online app if you guys watch one of my vlogs a couple weeks ago i'm pretty sure i mentioned that so chegg app um i use the blackboard app and then i use SiteFast for helping me do apa i use purdue owl for apa format and then i just use blackboard my school email and that's pretty much it other than like my textbooks i also have a notebook for taking notes and then i have my agenda to just write down the to-do list and make sure i don't forget anything so I just wanted to quickly go over what healthcare informatics is. I will leave this website down below. So there's actually a society for healthcare informatics or information. Um, it's called HIMSS, H-I-M-S-S. -S. It stands for Healthcare Information and Management System Society. So I will leave that website down below for you guys, but it has a lot of great information about what healthcare informatics is. And um, I actually, when thinking about this degree, looked at that website. I wanted to just read off the definition they have about what healthcare informatics is. So they define it as the integration of healthcare sciences, computer science, information science, and cognitive science to assist in the management of healthcare information. There also is nursing informatics, which is very similar, but nursing informatics is specific to the field and the role of the nurse in the healthcare setting. We deal with electronic medical records, data collection, um, you're kind of looking at how those systems affect the process and the flow of the clinical setting. You have to think about the technology, but also the workflow. Again, I'm reading off the website. There are gaps. Gaps are present between the technology and the process. Informatics can help bridge that gap. So in the clinical setting, it's basically like considering all the new advancements in technology and then also um, how to collect all this data and process it and how it actually works within the clinical settings in a manager position basically interpreting information modifying data and using that to make decisions decision processes it's definitely a growing field so that's why i'm saying like look at the link below um kind of read up for yourself read up current events that are happening that have to do with information systems and healthcare informatics i hope that kind of gave you an idea of what it is i also wanted to mention that my degree is going to take two years it's six semesters and i have the courses pulled up here in front of me i just wanted to mention some of the classes that i'm taking so you can kind of get an idea of what um the degree would consist of you can always just google healthcare informatics online degree or if you want to go in person and a lot of schools have their curriculum laid out for you so you do get an idea but some of the classes i'm taking are leadership classes system analysis and design for healthcare informatics database design um, management of the healthcare system um introduction to healthcare delivery systems and management um biostatistics healthcare analytics i decided to go back to school because one i wasn't liking bedside nursing it wasn't 
what I expected coming out of nursing school. I know in nursing school, a lot of people tell you to wait at least two years before you go back to school, which I'm glad I did because I didn't want to rush into anything. Also, I feel like two years is a good idea of whether you like like it or not. It, it gives you time to maybe like try a different hospital, try a different setting um, to see if it's really just like your hospital that you don't like or if is it nursing or is it nursing itself that you don't like. I have been a nurse for four years and I started school in January. So um, I think that timing was good for me. That's kind of why I decided to go back to school. Healthcare informatics is something that I find super interesting, especially with the advancements in technology and how um, healthcare is kind of keeping up with that and the new policies that will need to be added um, for privacy and security. It's huge. I knew I did not want to be a nurse practitioner. I did not want all of that responsibility that came with that. And like I said, I didn't love nursing enough to further my degree in that, which is basically what a nurse practitioner is. Online school and being part-time is actually not too bad. Um, I didn't want to go full-time. I didn't want to be a full-time student. Um, I wanted to be able to work while I did school. So that's why I chose online. Um, and my program is 100% online. I don't have to go in at all. There's no clinicals, um, nothing like that. So I'm grateful for that. And I specifically chose this program because of that. Um, I didn't want to have to fly like once a month somewhere. I'm trying to think if I can tell you guys anything else. I think that's pretty much like the basis of what my degree is. Like I said, you guys can do your own research. I'll link some websites down below so you guys can check those out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.